Good morning, all you wonderful new YouTubers out there. This is Edward and Prince. Prince Leonardo this morning at poolside. Leonard, Prince Leonardo is playing with his stick as usual. Slapping it, slapping my boots, slapping the water, slapping everything. <laughs> and uh, this channel is a foreigner escapes the Philippines. Huh, buddy? Come on, come on up here, daddy lap. Oh, there you go. Okay, okay, there you go, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he always wants to have Daddy hold him in the morning right after he gets up. Last night he, he fell asleep early, like 6 p.m. Usually he doesn't fall asleep till like between 9 and 11. So he was he woke up in the middle of the night for a little while and Queen Lilibeth had to you know care to him until he f s slept back. So that's part of the having a children, huh little boy. Looks like he got a couple mosquito bites last night or some kind of a bug bite, probably mosquito. There's not many mosquitoes around, but once in a while, you'll get one coming in the house because I keep the door open in the early morning because I don't turn the air conditioning on until like 10 a.m., right? Because that's when the sun's really shining bright and it can handle any load that you give it onto the solar panels. So between 10 and 2, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., we can do anything, run all our electric-powered uh, electric anything here and not pay one peso even to the coming off the grid so as long as the sun's shining on the on the panels on a cloudy day it will handle most of the load but not all of it depends how thick the clouds are too you know how that goes it's always a little bit different but just uh Another day here, my queen's over there. Hi, Han. She's cooking the breakfast. And, and uh, our, her, brother, her brother, my brother-in-law and his wife and one of their daughters went to their place, back to their place, because they have some work. The termites are so bad there at their little, plate, little house there. It's eating up all their wood. That's another reason why the best thing to go with here is concrete and steel. I mean, steel, as long as it doesn't get moisture on it, which is almost impossible because the humidity is so high usually. Uh, but that's what lasts the longest in the, in the deep jungle, concrete and, and steel. And really even that, because of the, the humid, wet weather, degrades a lot faster than most places like i lived in las vegas before and it's so dry there all the time nothing ever degrades everything you know especially metal like a lot of people that's why a lot of people put car have cars there because it's they last forever just keep them out of out of the sun you know uv or moisture tear tear a new one in anything so, you know, nothing lasts forever. That's normal. Will you come back up on daddy lap? Okay, come on. Where's your stick? Where's your stick? Where'd your stick go? Huh? Where'd your stick go, little boy? There it is, yeah. Oh, you want it? Huh? Okay, daddy will get it for you. Okay, there it is. Okay, there. Yeah, you love that stick. Yeah, that's his favorite thing. Sticks, rocks, sand. You know, he'll eat the bark off his sticks. He'll throw the bark in the pool. Uh, yeah. I've been looking for these blackbirds up on my tower here this morning, too. I had to 
I'll take a couple pot shots with my pellet gun with them earlier, but just to scare them away, mostly. I, it's hard to hit them that, that distance. But yeah, another beautiful day here in the Philippines. Another thing uh, I wanted to talk to you about was, uh, I, and I mentioned in a couple other videos, was uh, not having to have insurance of anything. I have, you know, only cash savings for medical, for uh, anything like in, that people have been coerced out of fear mostly in the in the world to buy insurance insurance is one one of the biggest scams there is in the in the world just like the banks or all these criminal organizations it's it's uh by the time you have to pay the fees of all these things throughout your life you're always poor they keep you in the poor house uh, everyone's always got their hand out right and it's these most organized people like the medical industry insurance industry that combined with fears playing on your fears gets you to do this stuff same thing with uh, uh, income tax that's another thing that after about 15 years ago I realized you know what this is the biggest one of the biggest scams and the who has the uh, who's the biggest criminal in the pond who's the biggest fish in the pond that eats up everybody else the government they're the biggest right they got the most power but pretty much what they say you have to do unless you want to take the risk of not doing it, saying no, right? Well, about eight years ago, I said no. Let's just leave it at that. And you know what? I ain't in the prison yet. And it's not like doing something illegal. That's nothing to do with it. Like I said in the previous videos, most of the things that the government say is illegal... <laughs> is baloney read your constitution do your research it's all there in black and white plain as day you know when the irs sends you a notice which i've received many of those over the these last few years they always start their gen computer generated uh copy that they send everyone and the first thing it starts with is, dear taxpayer, read the definition in the, in the IRS code of, of taxpayer. You're not one. They're calling you it, but you're not one. Most people aren't. That's just one small example of that. So the best thing to do is do your own research. Hey buddy, you better not play with those. That's for that's for the pellet gun. No, you don't want to do that. Don't play that. That's a that's lead. Yeah, you don't want to play that. So do your own research, you know. And what did you like playing with that? Huh? You like playing that? Yeah. Of course you do. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah, do your own research. I mean, there's so many things that fleece you, fleece you in this world. And that's one of them. Uh, I think property taxes and income taxes are as legal as they get. Illegal as they get, according to your, your country's constitution a man or woman's labor and their ownership of property is most a lot of countries are republics right and rule of law rule of law and ownership of property should never be violated by anyone and if the government's forcing you to pay property taxes you don't own that land you do not own that property if you have to pay a tax on it to anyone else for any reason, 
it's not yours. Because then they can just say, oh, you're not paying me. You're not paying me, so what am I going to do? I'm going to take what you have. There again, one organization or person harming another person in some way, coercing them through fear. And most people pay it, just like most people pay insurance. Why? Because they're fearful. Fearful of what might happen. Well... Fear has destroyed so many people in this world, it's not even funny. Oh, buddy. Oh, YouTubers, sword fight. <laughs> so, anyways, like I say, do your research. And uh, uh, start, in my opinion, you start saying no to these. Any organization or person that coerces you or through fear, tries to make you do something or anything. Uh, it blows my mind that most of my life, I believed what other people said, did what other people said that was, I must do, that's required. Uh, they always say, oh, two things that are always true in your entire life is that, is paying taxes and death. Well, I believe the death one but I don't believe the tax one. I believe in sales tax. If governments and want to fund things, I think sales tax is a good way to do it because if you don't want to pay that tax, don't buy that product. It's as simple as that. And the more money that you have, the more products you're gonna buy and the higher taxes then you're gonna pay. But property and income, it's as, that, those two taxes are about the most illegal criminal scam on the planet. And uh, people are, people do it. Why? They're fearful. And it's this automatic withholding from paychecks that governments have scammed the businesses. Well, not scammed the businesses. They're on the take, right? Big business and government, they're in bed together. They're uh, two criminals, criminal peas in a pod, as far as I'm concerned. And that's why there's automatic withholding. That's so illegal, it's not even funny. According to, again, your country's constitution. Read it. Read the truth. Do it yourself. Don't bl stop believing in others. Yeah, that's the key, I think, to real, true freedom. And... Stay out of debt, right? You can't believe how good inside it feels to be free. And a big part of that is free of all debt. So, anyways, that's my two cents worth with the... With, oh, you're eating the, the wood today, too? Yeah. With uh, Prince Leonardo. And this is Edward at A Foreigner Escapes the Philippines. Thank you very much. Take care.